Hi guys, this is Damien from Order Flow Charts. Uh, today I would like to talk about depth of the market or DOM, or also known as uh, order book. Okay, it displays bids in ask for a particular instrument at the currently best prices. Okay. This this is the, the the price closest to the market. Okay, so. Let's see what uh, is going on inside that depth of the market. We can see here the panel of RTS uh, futures futures contract. Okay, we are talking about the futures uh, instrument, which uh, contains real volume. So, uh, what we are going to read on the depth of the market or down is the this black line is the current price level okay everything above uh, are uh, limit orders from sellers and everything below it it is uh, buying orders limit buy orders uh, from buyers okay also known above as vids and also known below it as a uh, ask or offers okay so uh, what is happening here is that those uh, those lots those orders are sitting there on different price levels waiting for the price uh, to reach them okay so for example uh, here you have at uh, price level one 38.34 two lots from the bid side okay uh, wait for the price to reach there and execute the real uh, you know sell trade okay uh, from the participant we are waiting for that but for that to happen there should be bias okay in this case if we want uh, we want to buy. We have to look for uh, higher prices. Okay. Eventually, uh, we are going to buy at higher prices. Always at the worst price. Okay. It's it's a, it's an example here for. It's, a, it's suppose we have executed a trade a lot. Okay, a trade a lot buy operation okay uh while the following offers are currently available in the market in this case we are just right here at the, at the black line okay and we bought 20 lot okay we bought 20 lots so what happened what happened it's going to go up to the to, to the nearest price level in this case bid price level which is 138.34 with two lots okay with two lots so it will execute at that price level two lots but we are buying 20 lots so it will continue to the next up price level which is 138.35 with eight lots okay we, we still have the remaining so it goes up one more price level at 138.36 and it will complete it our 20 lot buy operation at 138.37 okay that is what is going to happen and there is how the market works now if you are going to look at the order execution in this case in the history tab down here okay which is which is eventually is well the aggressive participants get into the market okay to hit the vid or the ask in this in this case it's hitting the vid Okay, because we are 
we are willing to buy 20 lots. Where, but what is going to happen is very interesting because in, in time and sales, okay, we are going to see four different entries. Okay, so the time, the symbol associated to that, to that operation, the type, in this case, it, it is a buy order, okay, and the volume, okay, is split on each individual price level, okay, we have three lots here, seven lots, eight lots, and two lots, till we complete the 20 lots, okay, and this makes the market to start moving up. Okay, and that is a key, a key principle in order flow. Okay, if you know where the aggressiveness is at any financial instrument, and you can read that aggressiveness as an aggressive buyer or aggressive selling, okay, you know that the price is eventually, eventually will move up or down, okay, depending of the, of, of the offers and bid limit orders, and depends how aggressive is the buyer or the seller. And there is all about, this is all about, we have to read the order flow, we have to read the order flow chart based on these principles. This is the very basis, this is the very basis, this is, I would say that this is the first step that we have to learn when we find, um, you know, the order flow, when we find a chart which is this plane, okay, a ladder or, or a footprint like this one. Okay, so we have to understand that in order flow and reading the order flow chart, we have to follow the aggressive, the aggressive buyers and the aggressive sellers. Okay, to to make their decisions, to make their trading decisions, and, and, and this is all about. Okay, so but uh, back to our. Uh, little example of 20 lots, okay, buy lots, we can say that eventually on every candle, it's happening, it's just in one candle, let's say this one, we are going to see that the software, the order flow chart software, it represents as follows, okay, every, every uh, VAR is split in two, okay, the left side or the bid side, and the right side, or the ask side, okay? And based on this example here, okay, the order flow chart software will present two lots in 138.34, eight lots in 138.35, seven lots in 138.36 and three lots in 138.37. Uh, so all this operation coming from uh, the depth of the market and the time of sales, the, softwares, the software is, is displaying for us, okay? Making uh, the display and the reading of, of this kind of chart more easy. And this is all about, okay? Uh, make all these numbers, which are constant, constantly moving, they are constantly moving, this one and, and this one as well, they are represented here, okay, uh, automatically by the software. And this is the advantage to have the order flow chart software and to read the chart like this, okay? It was the last Friday, 
It was the last Friday. This is the Euro future. Now, take a look at this ball here. Okay. We have the red numbers at the left representing the vid. It means aggressive selling. Also have aggressive buying. But this aggressive selling here, okay, this aggressive selling, it makes eventually in, in, in history of, of price movement, it generated a, a very good resistance. A very good resistance. And the prices react to that. Okay? And the price react to that. So, if you are willing to sell here, because we have this aggressive selling level generated by participants and not by any, you know, trading formula, like pivots or anything, it is generated by by the market, but by, by, by the exchange. And that is even more important. So if the price remains below, okay, the odds are that we are willing to sell, not to buy. And the odds of the risk is just a few pips above this. Okay, in this case it would be three points or four points above it. And the risk reward is usually always much better. In this case, it moves 100 pop, we have 100 points, okay, all the way down. Usually when we, in this case it is a, a three minutes or, and usually with order flow, we are willing to take, it's called trading type T, okay? So, this is just a, a snapshot of uh, that with the order flow chart, okay, software, we can actually, we can in MT5 platform, we can see inside the box.